After what they are calling Super Tuesday 2, Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton proved to be the front runners of the presidential race. Just over 3 million Ohioans voted in the presidential primary on March 15th. The most important thing that you need to remember during an election cycle is that college kids are going to be the future voters. They're going to be the ones that are going to be impacted by the laws that are being passed right now. And they're the ones that are going to be shaping the future for the next 40 some years. Governor John Kasich won his important home state of Ohio while earning 66 delegates to keep his campaign alive. I think uh, John Kasich, by winning Ohio, proves that he can he can carry us to the finish and he can win in states like California. And um, I think he's a really good candidate and I'm very excited that he won. Trump took Illinois, North Carolina, Florida, and Missouri, adding 206 delegates to his count. And following the March 15th primary, Republican candidate Marco Rubio has suspended his campaign after finishing second to Trump in his home state of Florida. For the Democratic nomination, Clinton holds 1,614 delegates out of the 2,383 needed to win the nomination, while U.S. Senator Bernie Sanders has collected 856 delegates. Both Clinton and Sanders have taken a stand on college tuition, something that students can agree on. We are primarily focusing on college tuition and jobs because those are two main issues between college students. You know, how can we afford our tuition if we don't have a job when we graduate? So that's basically the bottom line. To win the Republican nomination, a candidate must earn a total of 1,237 delegates. Trump is currently leading that race with 678 delegates, and behind him is Ted Cruz with 413 and John Kasich with 143. In addition to the presidential primary on March 15th, Toledoans voted on local issues such as school levies. The Way Public Library in Perrysburg voted for and passed a 1.9 mil four-year levy for books, downloadable items, and other materials. Bluffton Public Library also passed a levy for a 1 mil 10-year renewal. A levy for Woodmore schools was not passed, but while a levy for both Eastwood schools and Archibald schools was passed. Wazian schools, Arcadia schools, and Bluffton schools all passed renewal levies on March 15th. Up next for the presidential race are the Arizona and Utah primary elections taking place on Tuesday, March 22nd, where there are a total of 98 delegates up for grabs. I'm Jenna Nance for UT10 News.